I enjoy the feedback and the encouragement that I get from Modoff. So Modoff, I know you're watching this video. Thank you for always reaching out after every video. You're telling me that these videos add value to you and your team. So I'm glad I can help out. And I certainly enjoyed my time with you and your leaders the other day. And you certainly pushed a hot button for me. You asked, Jamie, how do you deal with the turnover? This seems to be a difficult part of our business. How are you looking at turnover? And it's a hot button because in my opinion, it's the number one most difficult element of our business. It's not so much the rejection as a sales rep, I can handle that, I can handle a bad day, a slow day, I can handle a slow week, but I've always struggled with investing in a person and having that person turn over, whether it's Jamie the new leader or it's Jamie the 20 year plus veteran in the business, I've always struggled with the turnover, so I want to unpack this in today's episode. As a new leader, I heard another leader in the office tell this quote-unquote funny joke. And they said, hey, Jamie, knock, knock. Who's there? Bob. Bob who? Oh, well, that's the business. And I was thrown back by that. I'm like, what? I mean, so Bob leaves. Bob turns over, and your attitude is, oh, well, that's the business. And so... I noticed that that particular leader and others who had that train of thought, like, oh, listen, the turnover is just, it is what it is, just part of the business and just kind of run with it. I noticed that these people had a difficult time getting close to people. They put up this wall, this protective barrier to protect themselves from the rejection or the turnover. And so I think they were lacking some intimacy, and so that really bugged me, and, and I, was, I wasn't buying into that joke. I wasn't buying into, oh, well, that's the business. Bob left the business. So I want to start off with that because I think it starts with the attitude and how we're looking at things. I do not want to be indifferent to the turnover. I don't want to be indifferent to the relationship and the quality of the relationship that I want to build with my people. At times, my wife, Joanne, will call me a naive prairie chicken. And every time she calls me the naive prairie chicken, I always say, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. She's like, I'm not complimenting you. And I'm like, no, but I take that as a compliment. And here's why. Let me unpack this for you. It was years ago. Okay, I'm a new leader. And there's this new guy, Mike, that joins the team. Okay. Mike was new to the city, so not only did Mike get work with me, and I was going to be his coach, his mentor, but he was also going to be my roommate. I moved him into my apartment. And things were great. Mike and I developed this great relationship. We're building a team. We're taking over the world together. And we're a few months into this, and there was one night that Mike didn't come back to the office. Now, this is back in the old days when we had evening atmosphere at the end of every field day. So we're in the office. It's late. It's only getting later. And I'm getting concerned. I've got some anxiety. Like, is he okay? It got so late. It got to the point that we called the highway patrol. Like, was there an accident? Like, you know, good news. There was no accidents. We're like, man, something's wrong, but we don't know what it is. It's finally around midnight and I go home and I get home and all of Mike's stuff is gone. I'm like, oh, Mike's stuff is gone. And all of my stuff is gone. Oh. Now I'm there with a, another roommate, another coworker, and this person's looking at me like, what's Jamie thinking? And so it was a very interesting moment. We sat on the steps together and there was a part of me, I was really torn. I just knew this was an important moment in my life. Part of me was just so angry and I wanted to put up this protective barrier to never let this happen again. Never get too close to your people because they might burn you. And there was another part of me that said, why would you give Mike the satisfaction of changing you? Your willingness to believe in people, your willingness to, to just invest and dive into people. Why would you give Mike that satisfaction after ripping you off to prevent that from happening with other people? And so I made the decision at that moment that I was going to be naive. Again, the naive prairie chicken. I want to believe the best in people. I give people the benefit of the doubt until they burn me. Listen, once I get burned, okay, listen. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay, got that. But I want to believe in people. I want to give them my best. So I have to thank Mike. I mean, I wasn't really so thankful for him in that moment. But 
To this day, I want to thank Mike because 20 plus years later, I really believe that as a new person comes in, I'm very optimistic about this relationship. I want to believe the best in them and I don't want to let those, those experiences of turnover taint me. I don't want to get jaded. I don't, know, I don't want to be the guy that says, knock, knock, who's there? Mike, Mike who? I don't want to be that guy. This brings me to the heart of the question. Jamie, how do you deal with the turnover? It's, the, it's a tough part of our business and it's really an attitude. It's really a mindset. My mindset is, yes, it is difficult. It is the most difficult part and it's difficult because I'm investing. I'm trusting in people. I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm willing to get burned. So you can make these investments in these relationships and sometimes it's just not going to work out. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I, you think of the good stuff of the business, right? The good stuff is winning as a team, growing as a team. It's a team sport. I have a relative that was asking me, Jamie, how do you deal with it? You're, you're leading such a big group. I mean, don't people let you down? I'm like, yeah, I mean, for sure some people let me down. I said, well, that's why I got into, into real estate because nobody can let me down. It's all based on, on me. I'm not dependent on other people. And so... Hey, I get that. I respect you as an entrepreneur. You're a real estate salesperson. I think that's wonderful. I just look at it like, hey, you're playing tennis. It's all about you. Win or lose, it's 100% on you. I'd rather play basketball or football. I'd just rather be in a team sport. The victories are that much richer victories. And hey, I know the losses when you lose as a team and somebody could fumble the ball even though it wasn't your fault, but you all lose as a team. I get that but I'm willing to do that. I am a football player, I'm a basketball player. So I accept the difficult part of it, but I'll tell you again, I'm not gonna get jaded and I'm not gonna lose motivation on people or be skeptical of people because I've been burned a few times. I walk into every relationship as if I have not been burned at all and I'm naive and I walk in thinking the best, most optimistic results are going to happen in this relationship and that's how I deal with turnover. I just, I accept it and I'm willing to deal with that tough part of the business. Just like a pro athlete has to come to terms and accept, listen, you're gonna have to be in the gym a, a lot, okay? Most of your career is gonna be when the camera's not on you and you're gonna be sweating and ripping your body apart and all we, the fans, get to see is the game. Hey, you gotta come to terms and accept that. That's just part of the job and I accept the turnover is just, it's a part of our business. It's the most difficult part of the business. But the winning part, you know what? Because that's so grand, because that's so rich, it certainly clouds the, the difficulty. So that's how I look at turnover.